All right, so the next knot I wanna show you is an incredibly useful knot. This knot can be used for many applications. Um, I use this a lot of times for, um, for a lashing. I use two or three of these to put a ridge pole up. Uh, there's multiple other applications too, but this is the Canadian jam knot. So there's more than one way to tie this. Um, to me, the easiest way to tie this is to start by doing a pretzel knot, granny knot, whatever you want to call it, on one end of the rope. And then I like to, because I'm a directional person, I like to take the end and put it underneath my object. Okay, so you've got this end here and then you've got the longer standing in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross this end over top like that. Okay, move this around so that you can see it. So this end is over top. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap around my finger like this. So again, I take it so that it goes over top like an X. I'm gonna reach underneath and wrap around my finger. And then I'm going to take this end and I'm gonna cross this way and I'm gonna go underneath and through like so. And you see what I've done is I've created two pretzel knots. One that's on the tag end of the rope and the other one that goes around the standing end. Then you're gonna take the standing end or the long end of your rope and you're just gonna pull. And you know that it's working if the piece that you have jams up against it, okay? I use this knot for a lot of applications. One of my favorite things is when I've got a lot of firewood, I will take this and uh, get that together and um, then I'll use a Marlin spike hitch with a T-handle um, to bring it with me. And then to, un, uh, to loosen it, to untie it, you simply take the short end, the tag end, and you just move it around like this, and that's it. And that's the Canadian jam knot. You can also use this, and I do frequently, to put um, fishing line on a spinning reel. You just snip off the tag end, and then flip the bale, and you're good to go.